Bratislava is a very important um, religious um, celebration of the Serbian family, one of the central uh, events in the life of one family. Um, the meaning, actually the translation of Slava uh, would be celebration or literally glory, but it is a celebration. And what we do on that day, we celebrate a family saint. Uh, that is um, the main purpose. One who is uh, watching over the family that is that family is dedicated to. So today, for instance, we celebrate in this household of Oydrovich is uh, Saint George, a great martyr, and we send send him to him and um, uh, did other uh, prayers to him, and we pray to him that he watches over um, this family. The main purpose is on the day of the saint, each day we celebrate different saints. So on the day that family was baptized, received Christianity, Christian faith, that family took that saint to be their uh, home protector. There are three main elements uh, of the Slava that we have to have when we celebrate Slava. That is the candle um, and always symbolizes Christ. I am the light of the world, Christ says. So we light the candle again to remind us of Christ. Um, we have the bread which is nicely uh, decorated and it's decorated with the sign of the cross and in different parts of, the, of Serbia or, or Bosnia or Kraina or wherever our people lived, they have different elements how to um, decorate that festive bread. But also between that cross there are four uh, letters of S, meaning the Samos Loga Serbina Spashava, to yes, or um, only unity saves the Serbs. And you have that and other um, elements of the seal of Christ. You have that, that's a kind of stamp that is uh, put in four places on the bread. And again, bread also symbolizes uh, Christ, but we dedicate that bread in honor of the saint. And we, yes, we bless that with uh, wine, with blessed wine. This, this is a symbolism just of uh, Christ's blood, that uh, with, through his blood we are all saved. The third element is wheat, or we call it jita. So we bless the jita, and during the prayers we mention the names of the household members. We pray for their health, but we also pray for, uh, we dedicate that wheat in memory of those who passed away before us, our grandfather, grandmothers, our ancestors, because we receive this custom, this um, great celebration, Slava, from our fathers and grandfathers. We don't choose every year different saint. It is transfer from generations to generation to generation, and we remember them through this prayer. That's continuity for centuries that goes from generation to generation. These main elements that we had here are part of the Slava celebration in any, in any Serbian village, and of course. Uh, the food, if we find ourselves during the Lenten seasons, for instance, we do not eat meat and dairy products. It's a Lenten uh, food, especially for St. Nicholas. Most popular Slava is St. Nicholas. And it's always during the Advent. So we cannot eat meat. It has to be fish and other things. Um, and of course, at the end, you know, sweets, so many sweets. At Slava, when we go, go into house, we greet the host, Srećna Slava Domaćine, Happy Slava or Joyous Day. And we exchange the greetings, we exchange the, during the uh, ceremony. Um, we kiss the bread and he, the, ho the host kisses the bread. But the Christ is among us, that bread that represents Christ. And we say actually those words, Christ is amongst us and he replies, he is and shall be. That's the meaning of the greeting that goes in between priest and the family members. And of course later, the celebration with people, with the food and festive food and so on.